Pow. That's what they call you. Yeah, pow. How are you? I'm great, thanks. And you're here, hit like a girl, judge. Yeah. Um, I was pretty excited when they told me if I wanted to be a judge because I have never actually participated in it. But yeah. I'm a very big fan of the contest because I feel it's just like really empowering to see yeah. all these female drummers. So when they called me to be a judge, I was like ecstatic. Yeah. It was really fun. And so how did that come about, them asking you to be a judge for it? Oh, it um, first uh, they called me if I wanted to be like the face of the campaign for this year. Cool. So I was like really excited about that. And I took some pictures and then I just sent them and they, they, they emailed me like, hey, do you want to be a judge? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to be a judge. <laughs> it was, I think it was, it's one of the best experiences that I had yeah. as a drummer because seeing other, I was a judge for the 18 and under. Okay. Uh, it was uh, really fun and really inspiring to see girls around my age, like play extremely well. I was just like astonished that people yeah. like actually like played extremely well and I was like wow I feel like really proud of them and that I'm in this like generation where female drummers are like amazing. When I started I was pretty young I was about six years old and literally everyone everyone around me was like don't play the drums I mean that's for boys like mm -hmm. stay in your own lane play like the violin or something. Stay was, in your own lane. Yeah I was like you know what I mean I really like the drums I really like hitting it and to see that other girls actually like had the same reaction to because I'm pretty sure that everybody who starts has like that kind of reaction from society like don't play the drums it's for boys so um, it's really inspiring to see like these whole movements and like how everybody's just like continuing doing yeah this. it is really cool um, and so you but so you say six years ago but now you're sick no I'm 16 yeah you're 16 so it's like literally 10 years I, I, yeah. I can't believe that I've been playing for 10 years honestly yeah. time just flies by it sure does yeah. it sure does <laughs> it's been a really crazy experience honestly um because um oh wait you told me in the corridor you have a band with your sisters, sisters yeah. and you guys ended up on the Allen show oh yeah um, how did all that happen uh when we I was about I think 12, 13, um, we did a cover of Metallica Center Sandman, mm -hmm. which got like, it just started getting a lot of views. I have like four million views. I, I have like, yeah. it has a lot of views and it started getting like really The shared. most views, more views than anything <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but just a lot of views and it started getting like really shared and stuff like that. Cool. So um, I got, we got like an email from the Ellen show like, hey, do you want to be on our show? I'm wow. Like, oh, you know, oh no, we don't want to be on the show. Of course, we were like, wow. Because I mean, we're from Mexico and even yeah. in Mexico, like Ellen is like, this really big like icon yeah so we were it was our first time that we played in the u.s we were really nervous and I after bet. that oh it was i was extremely nervous <laughs> and av after that i think our career just kind of like took off and now we've we've been playing like uh my band opened for death leopard in mexico and Sweet. guadalajara and monterey i opened for the killers the time they just played in monterey i mean so you guys are like get you guys are pretty well known now you're you're doing all right for oh, yeah, I mean, for, for how old are you got you're 16. Uh, my big sister is 18 and my little sister 13. wow cool yeah. we've been a band for like about four years i guess and we have like an album out and everything and we just got like this huge so we didn't yeah. think we we're gonna get a lot of support because we're a female rock band and we're really young and usually the reaction that people have to that is not very positive but we were like pretty surprised that people just like walked welcome us with like open arms that's wonderful but now you guys are like the faces of that sort of revolution probably in mexico of of, <laughs> of bringing you know of, of of getting younger people younger women sorry you know into music and thinking that it can be a profession yeah. that must be great for you, you, you must know, feel really proud of that exactly i'm like extreme sometimes people like message us or like just straight up tell us that they've been like really inspired and they started like or playing the guitar or the drums or the bass or the piano or whatever and it just it just feels amazing that everything that you're doing is actually having an impact on somebody else's life it's just so rewarding and i think it's one of the best feelings like ever yeah it is that's you know that's what i really believe that's what we're here to do you know is to exactly. is to make that difference and for you guys to be making that difference at such a young age like you you're you're only going to keep perpetuating that and keep growing that so that's so cool thank you no i'm, I'm we're, ex we're extremely grateful of all the opportunities that have been given to us yeah really grateful great that really comes across 
Um, so, but you are the, are you the, fa you're the face of Hit Like a Girl, are you? Of, of this year, of this it was, year. yeah. I was right. pretty excited about it. Because I had, like, two years ago, yeah. I really wanted to be, like, in the competition. Yeah. I wanted to enroll. And I was just well, like... Well, you don't need to now. Well, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just, like, extremely nervous because I saw, like, all the female drummers that came out of this competition. I was like, whoa. I mean, this is, like, the big stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't enroll. I was, like, just too nervous about it. But now that I became a judge and I saw, like, all these girls that, like... I mean kudos to them I mean it's extremely hard to actually just put yourself out there it is yeah and, and this fear of being judged and it was it was just like really cool to see these girls actually like just throw it out there and it was just extremely amazing they played extremely well yeah that's great um, Wow so what's it what's in the future for for you right now well right now um, First of all, I really like just practice more. I get better in the drums, obviously, and um, keep writing stuff with my sisters. We're recording our second album now, and um, just like keep playing wherever we can, and just like enjoy life, I guess. <laughs> Great, you just nailed it. Thanks. Wonderful. Yay. Um, so thank you for talking to me. No, thank you for having me. Where can people? find out about Pow and your band. I'm oh. sure I'm sure you have <laughs> yeah. a lot of followers. Um, where you can find all of our information in the warning band dot com in Facebook we're at the warning band and Instagram we're the warning band. <laughs> and that's it. And what about you? Are you have you got your own stuff? Oh um I don't have my own accounts. Yeah. But in the web page you we have like individual stuff so you oh, can sweet. Like, look me up in check, there. check check yeah. out your your bio and all that yes. kind of stuff. Exactly. Well, thank you. Enjoy yourself in LA. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. Cool. Yeah. Thank you.